Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, January 14th. Have you asked? Tis the blessed hour of prayer, trusting Him we believe that the blessings we're needing will surely receive. In the fullness of this trust, we shall lose every care. What a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Blessed hour of prayer. Blessed hour of prayer, what a balm for the weary, oh how sweet to be there. Have you asked? The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 25 and 26. The Lord would have us ask that we may receive. There are the heavenly messengers waiting for the sincere petition, and they draw nigh to the hungry, thirsting soul. Then let your whole souls go out after God. Wait on the Lord. The heavenly messengers will empty themselves into the golden tubes, flowing into the golden bowls to enlighten others. If you ask, believing you will receive, never, never be destitute of the golden oil, for this will keep your lamps burning. Believe ye receive the things ye ask for, and ye shall have them. Come with humble heart, but presenting the promise. Then believe you do receive. The name, the all-prevailing name of our Savior is our assurance and our boldness. God presents himself to us as a hearer of prayer. Keep on right ground with God so that you may have the witness of the Spirit that you are one of his elect and faithful trusting ones. Never allow Satan to discourage you. Trust yourself not in the hands of M, but in the hands of God. Practice prayer. Cultivate humility and meekness, but commit the keeping of your soul to God. Depend in all that you do on the Holy Spirit, for he is our strength, our efficiency. The Lord is ever training us through difficulties. Pray. Pray, be instant in prayer. Commit everything to God in prayer. Your business cares, your disappointments, your joys, your fears. Do this and you will have a sense of God's presence and thankfulness and gratitude will flow forth from your heart and lips in vocal praise. Your heart will be mellow and you will make melody to God in your heart. Rise to a high standard. Do not indulge in cheap talk, but let the soul go forth in expressions from your lips of the love of Jesus. Let us always be sober, reverential in dealing with the word of God. There is an eternal consequence in our rightly employing our talents of speech, our talents of voice, and every qualification given us to exercise and improve. We are to be pure in speech, holy in all manner of conversation, drawing nigh to God and he drawing nigh unto us. This Day with God, January 14th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.